Hey, Mom, I'm home. Hi, sweetie. How was Mr. Palin's retirement party? Bittersweet. I'm really going to miss him. We were more than just director and student. Him and I were really good friends. I know, honey. We'll go see him again. When? He's retired, Mom, and it's not like he's going to invite me to his house. Honey, I'm sorry you're upset. It's okay. Well, did you meet the new instructor? Yeah, I did. And how's he? Fine, I guess. I mean, he was a little... It was a little awkward. Why's that? I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. Maria, you're just upset about... About Mr. Palin retiring. You're not used to having a new, a new director. Yeah, I guess that's it. Look, um, I told the new choir director that I'd come home, tell you about the party, and tell you that I'm going to audition again. The new director's making you audition? Yeah, he's really confident that he wants a really good choir, so I have to sing for him. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, well, good luck, but you're not going to need luck. Thanks. All right, off you go. Okay, Mom, I'll be back in like an hour or so. Go ahead, honey. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Where's Maria? I thought I heard her voice. She just came home to let me know that she was going to audition for the choir. What do you mean? I thought she was in the choir already. Well, you know that her director retired today, right? Yeah. So, well, Maria meant the new director and he's gonna, he um, told Maria she had to audition again. Why? Because he wants a really good choir. He wants what's best for the church. Yeah, I really wish her luck. Sweetie, you know how talented Maria is. I don't think she's going to need luck. I know. But my heart's in the right place. Yes, it is, honey. Why don't you go in your room and hang out? It's going to be dinner in about, in about an hour. Will Maria be home by then? Yes, but if she's not, we'll save her a plate. But you go wash up and then hang in your room. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay. <sighs> Mom? Maria, what are you doing back here so soon? How did your audition go? It didn't. Oh, honey, you had a bad audition? The choir director didn't even let me audition. What do you mean? He said that he had enough people in the choir. Sweetie, I know there's something you're not telling me. What's going on? Well, we heard that I had bipolar. And he said, well, what if you make, what if you have an episode? What if this, what if that? How, how does he know you have bipolar? Mr. Palin told him. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Mom, let's just forget it. Maria, are you sure you're not making this up? Why would I make something like this up? Honey, it just doesn't seem to make sense. Mom, I'm serious. He, the new director really did this to me. I can't believe you wouldn't believe me. I'm your daughter. Yes, I know. And I raised you better than this. Better than what? Listen, I'm sorry you had a bad audition, but don't accuse the director. Mom, I'm serious. Maria, go to your room and stay there until you can tell me the truth. But Mom, go. You know what? What happened to me at the church today I thought was the worst thing that ever happened to me. But I was wrong. Having my own mom not believe me is the worst thing. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aaliyah, what's wrong? Nothing. Aaliyah. Aaliyah, what's wrong? Did you have a bad audition? No. And how did you know about my audition? Mom told me. <sighs> yeah, well, I did an audition. Why not? I thought you loved singing in the church choir. I do. Well, then how come, how come you didn't audition? Forget it. You wouldn't believe me anyway. How do you know that? Because mom doesn't even believe me. Well, I'll believe you. Just tell me what happened. The teacher, the new, the new director had said that he didn't want me in the choir because of my bipolar. Are you serious? No, I'm kidding around. You are? Of course I'm serious, Lexi. Oh my gosh, you're just like mom. You guys think I'm making this up. I'm not, I don't think you're making this up. At least, not anymore. Gee, thanks. <sighs> Come in. Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. Um, Lexi, can I please talk to Maria alone? I'm out of here. What is it, Mom? Sweetie, I've been thinking about things, and I do believe you. You, you do? I've been thinking it over, and you don't have a history of lying. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Thanks. But there's nothing you can do about it now. I think there is. I'm going to go to the church and talk to the new choir director myself. Are you sure that's a good idea? Never been so sure about anything in my life. Can you watch Lexi for me? Yeah, but Mom, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. You're my daughter and I love you. Okay, let's see what music I'm going to use. Hello. Are you Jake? Yes, who are you? I'm Maria's mother. Maria Sanchez's mother. Oh, yeah. Listen, I need to talk to you about Maria. Listen, um, how did Maria's audition go? She decided she didn't want to audition. Why? Because she's bipolar and she thought she would, she would have an episode during a mass. Are you sure you want to stick to that story? Maria told me something completely different. She said that you wouldn't let her audition. Is that true? And we're in the church, so you can't lie. Even though you already did. Look. Maria wouldn't be able to handle being an inquirer. Why? Because she has bipolar. I, I mean, does she hear voices in her head? Does she try to kill herself? You know, you know nothing about Maria. Yes, she has bipolar, but that doesn't make her any less of a person. And I can't believe that you're supposed to be Christian and you have to discriminate against my daughter. She really wants to be in the choir. Well, we don't want to in the choir. Who's Wade? Okay, me. I don't want to in my choir. This is not your choir. It's the church's choir. You know what? I'm going to report you to the church secretary. Go ahead. I will. I just can't believe you're Christian, and not only did you discriminate against my daughter, but you're lying about it. I am going to go to the board. Go ahead. Like they would believe you. Oh, they're going to believe me, all right. I'm not afraid. Leah? Hi, honey. Hey. Where's your sister? In our bedroom. How'd it go at the church? Sweetie. You were right. 
the choir director did discriminate against you. I guess I owe you a little bit of an apology. Mom, I told you about what Jake did. You just wouldn't believe me. I've never lied to you a day in my life. Sweetie, I know that now. Well, you should have known it all along. I know. And I'm really sorry that I didn't believe you. So what's going to happen now? Well, I went to the church's secretary and Jake is fired. Well, then what's going to happen now? They're going to get a new choir director. And this choir director is very nice. She's she's very nice. And she's worked with people who have mental illnesses and, and disabilities. She's very open. How do you know all this? Because when Jake was applying for a job, so was this person I'm talking about. So was she. And they said that if Jake didn't work out, then she would direct the choir. Do I have to audition again? No, you don't have to audition again. People who were in that choir when Mr. Palin was there is going to be there now. But I'm really sorry, kiddo. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. Yes, it is. Everyone makes mistakes. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Your first rehearsal with that choir director is Wednesday night. I'll be there.